And what you need to know in your life is that sometimes life just doesn't make sense. And you can't reconcile who you believe God to be with this event. And you don't know how to interpret it. You don't know how to understand it. What do we do with this? This is where we need to be careful with our emotions. Because while you will feel some anger, you can't really control your emotions. You feel what you feel, right? But you can control what you do with that anger or with that fear. And we see two very different kinds of fear. The the right kind of fear of God that the Bible describes as the beginning of wisdom should lead us to come to God, to run to God, to go to Him with our burdens, with our worries, with our confusion, with our doubts. Go to Him. Whereas unhealthy fear that we see in David leads us to isolate ourselves from God, to ignore God, to pretend as though God isn't there. Be careful with your emotions. Be honest with yourself about how you feel about God and this and this thing, whatever it is in your life, we all have things in our lives that we just don't understand. And we're trying to figure out, where is God in that? Why? Why did this happen? Why did he let that happen? Go to God. Let your emotions drive you to him. And he is faithful. He is faithful to provide. He may not give you an answer and tell you, Dane, here's why I allowed that. Here's why I did that. But he will give you what you need necessarily what you want, but what you need. And sometimes what we need is a peace that surpasses all understanding. And to know that God is God and we are